diversity has been a topic in this uh, GES uh, all across. You have to be optimistic, but it's, uh, it's, it's good to see this, uh, that this is going to happen. Simone Brummelhuis, Entrepreneur and Supervisory Board Member. You just moderated the session Women in Entrepreneurship, Mind the Gap, Unlock the Full Potential. It's a great title. Yes. <laughs> what is the key message of the session? Uh, the key message uh, was uh, actually brought uh, about by the uh, State Secretary Mona Kaiser, who uh, started the session with telling that um, uh, women uh, are actually an economic opportunity which is not uh, used uh, enough and she asked for solutions. So the key message of this whole session was that there are actually a lot of solutions mm -hmm. and um, the next thing is then to implement them. Mm. And can you maybe mention one of the solutions? Well there are several solutions in order to uh, capture this uh, opportunity. First of all, um, you know, we have to change the uh, composition of a lot of venture funds. Mm -hmm. uh, we all know there is um, a lot of venture funds are investing uh, in a lot of companies which are owned by all male teams. There has been a lot of reports about that, um, that the percentage of funding which goes to women or to mixed team is actually below 10%. And in the Netherlands, it's even below 2%. And uh, one of the things is that there is a sort of an unconscious bias towards female entrepreneurs when they um, uh, uh, stand in front of an investment uh, committee of a uh, venture fund. So that's, that was, for example, one solution. The other solution was um, uh, at the stage of when you are starting a business and when you are in, in, in the process of getting some grants from the government, it's the government who has the power to change these composition of those committees, for example. So um, changing the composition of these teams was one of the key messages, but uh, uh, solutions. On the other hand, there are m many, many others, such as mentoring, role modeling, and the beauty of this session actually was that the solutions came from the audience, and the audience was composed of all these investors and entrepreneurs from all over the world. So we got solutions from Mexico and Spain and Turkey and Israel and what have you. And men and women in the audience? Well, obviously in these type of sessions, when it says mind the gap, then the percentage of m women who are coming to these sessions is 90%. Yes. However, we had a panel um, uh, which uh, there, there was a, a male investor in, in the panel and he has uh, started two funds, uh, one fund uh, geared towards uh, female uh, founded teams and one towards minority teams. Mm -hmm. So he could really show the experience and the benefit which it has for his investment fund uh, to invest uh, in this category of uh, companies. And he was positive about uh, more women in the position? That you yeah, because about. he showed that it was an economic opportunity. The returns uh, of his portfolio are quite significant. Uh, yes. And that's, uh, so uh, apart from the equality um, reason why you, why you should invest in more female entrepreneurs, there is also an economic opportunity. And that resonates. Men will find investors easier than women. There was a quote of you last week. It's quite shocking, isn't it? Men will find investors easier than women. Well, it's also in the networks. Mm -hmm. yeah, so um, it, a lot of uh, venture funds get referred uh, entrepreneurs to them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the referral system is quite important. And when the investors are 98% male or you have an angel investor which is a, is a man mm -hmm. and he says now for your next round we have to go for VC funding you know then you then immediately you see how this network is yeah. very homogeneous <laughs> yeah. yeah is there anything that we can do to change that yeah though so the solutions are that we need also to have more female investors yeah. Yeah, that's one thing. The other thing is that we have to get more women entrepreneurs investor ready. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, has, some companies are just not investor ready. So then you have to start from that stage, which means that you have to facilitate 
uh, for these entrepreneurs some start funding, but you also have to facilitate maybe networks or some, um, some uh, advisors, because that is also something. You need to have a network to build your team. You need to have a network to be able to drive sales. So the other um, solution we came about is, you know, think about how do, you, uh, how do you get traction? Because if you have traction, so your sales, or you have your MVP, or something which you can show that you have achieved what you were planning for, then of course it's much easier to get funding. Yeah, and if we take a look at you are a role model for a lot of women. Do you have some advices for women around the globe? For around the globe, wow, wow. that's a, well, yeah, that's a big uh, because we have such a responsibility. A <laughs> I know, but we have such a diverse uh, population here yeah. at the GES, yeah, uh, worldwide. Yeah, I mean, are we still too modest? Do we are we not courageous enough? Or? Well, so we just came from uh, a, a very well organized lunch with uh, a lot of women and I was sitting on this table and what I also saw is that we, we raised the bar for ourselves quite high mm -hmm. and sometimes too high and it, and it means that you might postpone to ask, to dare to ask for, for support, uh, dare to ask for advice, dare to ask for funding, you know, be able to accept a no and then continue. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that was also something, you know, uh, the advice is, you know, you have to lay the bar very high, but in order to do so, you know, get people along this journey to help you uh, get that success. I think that is, that is a very general um, advi advice and everybody can, can fit it in as, uh, as, she, as she or he wants, but you can't really uh, uh, go, go on this journey on your own. And a lot of uh, entrepreneurs um, are on their own, while um, people around them are already there to support them, but you know, you need to ask. Yeah. Because we women want to do it alone and everything should be perfect before we, before we dive into something new, right? Yeah, yeah, we are, you know, we are very thorough. We always prepare. Uh, we want to be super prepared, and, uh, which is great. But, uh, you know, you, have, you, you can't be an entrepreneur uh, when everything is perfect. I mean, you have to test things out, you know, go out to your client. Maybe it's a, a service or a product that they're not ready for yet, so you have to know these things. So, you know, um, so that's 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 an advice. Don't go it on your own. During the lunch, was there something else that you would really like to share with the uh, entrepreneurs? Yeah. So we we had this lunch with with a variety of uh, entrepreneurs and investors. Mm -hmm. So there were two things which I think um, is something where there is a little bit momentum in uh, this whole uh, entrepreneurship uh, field that we see nowadays m more and more women who are starting investment funds or are starting to invest. And um, so uh, there was an investor uh, with a fund from Turkey. I spoke to an, uh, a, a woman who uh, set up a fund in Japan. And these are all um, you know, funds which are uh, relatively new and we should connect to each other because we all have the same thing. We are new to the field. We are. Um, uh, we, we have the pipeline uh, issue, you know, are there enough uh, women and, uh, entrepreneurs? Uh, we, 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 we have the same issues with getting fund funding because, you know, a lot of these funds are first-time funds and we all know first-time funds, you know, you have a harder time to get those LPs on board. Um, so that was uh, something which, which, which was really good to see from this lunch. And the other thing is also sharing experiences. Uh, and also um, the whole method of sharing experiences without giving advice, huh? unsolicited advice immediately, mm -hmm. that's uh, powerful as well. Because only by sharing experiences, people know that you know, what we are all doing is, is, is uh, has, uh, can, you can compare it with each yeah. other, that's, that's great. And uh, do you ha did you make already connections for tomorrow? I mean, the summit will end, and then what's gonna happen next? Yeah, yeah, I did because we. Uh, I'm in the process of uh, raising uh, a fund, uh, and uh, we're quite far. And uh, so I connected with a couple of uh, other uh, women who are raising funds as well. And uh, uh, and, and it's really good to compare notes and 
to get that support uh, around you. So that, that was quite helpful. Uh, we also connected with a couple of LPs, of course. Uh, LPs we were already uh, in talks with. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and, uh, so it's good to see the investor community here uh, on the same topic. Diversity has been a topic in this uh, GS uh, all across. So uh, our fund is going to invest in, uh, in women-led companies. So uh, yeah, we feel the momentum and that's, that's always, you know, you have to be optimistic, but it's, uh, it's, it's good to see this, uh, that this is going to happen. So it's already a successful GES for you? Yeah, I think it's, uh, I, I, I think the setup of this uh, GES with uh, inviting entrepreneurs and investors and government is actually quite a good setup because uh, you will need the public-private partnerships in order to get things going. And uh, the notion of that we should work together more, uh, not only in the uh, developing world, or, uh, but also in Europe um, and in the US, mm -hmm. and that uh, governments and the private sector should work together to tackle the most uh, uh, imminent uh, problems in, uh, in the world. Um, and. Uh, uh, gender equality is really one of them, is, uh, is on the table now, so that's good. Nice. Thank you very much and keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.